Alright. Hello, and welcome back to another video where today we, the Panthers are going against the Chicago Bears. <sighs> I'm looking forward to this. Everybody, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Both quarterbacks have reliable tight ends. They know they'll be able to count on to make plays. It's Olsen's Panthers going up against Bennett's Bears. Cool. So let's go now to Charlotte, North Carolina, where Jim and Phil are on the call. And Ram Gano looks set now to ah, kick man. it away. That's unfortunate. The Bears are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. All right. This game is underway. All right. Thompson's going to drop to a knee here, so this will come out to Not the bad. The Bears offense is led by quarterback Jay Cutler, who has one of the strongest arms in the league. Yeah. He does. He can throw it with anybody, but now, hey, can he take that strong arm and find the right guy to throw it to and just make it happen for his football team? Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First down at the 20. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. No one asked you, but okay. A player to keep an eye on today, Martellus Bennett. Yeah, he has matured into one of the best tight ends in the NFL. Big, fast, can push you around, and what a pair of hands. Right, right, 18, right, 18. The Bears will take the snap from the 25. The Bears now move the chains. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. The Bears have it at the 34. And Jeffrey brings it in. And Keekly in on the tackle. Jeffrey's a great slant route runner. He knows how to stick his outside foot in the ground and go right across the middle of the field. The quarterback puts it right on target, mm -hmm. and he picks up good yards that doesn't quite get a first down. Though. The Bears take it from the 43. Jay Cutler with the deep ball. Where is he throwing? And when it comes to the defense, the buck stops here. Jared Allen, always a force. Yeah, it sure does. The big old cowboy can get it done. He knows how to pressure the quarterback and get him to the ground. Third and one. Forte gets it here. Jim, if it was fourth and two. In a situation like this on fourth and short, I would not go for it. I would put the football away, play field position, and not give momentum to the other team if you don't make it. But I'm not sure. We'll see what the coach does. Again, we'll try and return this one. Well, I didn't get far. 14. Here is the 2011 NFL yeah. Rookie of the Year. Quarterback, Cam Newton. I think Let's when you go. have the talent that Cam Newton has, no matter what you do, people are going to undervalue it. So they, they look at him, they see all that talent, and they just think he's going to win the Super Bowl every year. Well, it's a team game, and it doesn't work. Well, out. he doesn't, so. So, yeah. First down at the 20. Almost ah. 
intercepted. The running back position will be handled today by Jonathan Stewart out of Oregon. Well, it seems like Jonathan Stewart's been in the NFL for about 15 years. And he just keeps running the football, having success. I like the way he runs. I like his style. And he is productive. Second and ten. Yeah, I didn't get far either. For only a yard or two. A player to watch I don't defense, want to see this. The big man from the University of Texas, Lamar Houston. The Chicago Bears defense, Jim, they needed some people up front at the line of scrimmage who could stop the run, and that's what Lamar Houston specializes in. He sets the edge, and what I mean by that is yeah. you cannot run the football outside. That's what I'm talking about. Cam Newton gets the time, and he goes deep. That is something to see. What a beautiful throw. Come down on, the come field on. It was. Something so good. When you play the Carolina Panthers, you have to defend the whole football field. They got run plays for the quarterback and the running backs, but man, can he throw it deep. That time he did it, and it worked well. The Panthers decked out in a lot of pink, and we see pink throughout the building. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Out again. That's a tackle right near the 48. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Second down and seven. Tolbert's ready to run off the screen. And yeah, that's, right a, that's good. The 38 yard line. First down coming up. Newton's got it in the gun. Surveys. And gains maybe four. Well, we just don't talk about it enough. He is so good, has such quick feet. And then when he gets outside, if you make him run, he will. And a good job there picking up some extra yards. The Panthers have it at the 34. Yeah. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. The Bears go with the dime formation here on defense. First dime formation. QB's running formation. Damn it. I don't think we realized how good of an athlete he was coming out of college. We never talked about his running ability, but since he's been in the pros, we see him run pretty good at it. Second and eight. Ten again has the yeah. Catch. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone. But there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold them. Yim, yim, yim. First and goal from the three. Stewart's he uh, that was easy. He's in for the touchdown. Oh, yeah. Snazzy. They take the lead here late in the first quarter with the touchdown. Yeah, nothing like it. Before that first quarter was up, they found a way to get in the end zone and get that score to take the lead. And, hey, that's a good feeling. The Panthers were very effective on that scoring drive, especially via the pass. Over 50 passing yards on that scoring drive. Thompson's going to test the coverage here. And he's out across the 20 and tackled Ooh, yeah. at the 20. Jeremy Dale. The Bears bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a huh. good feeling out process. They, ended so up they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tried on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. First down at the 21. Charles Sneaky snake. For the sack. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback. And the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. Cutler steps back into the gun. Looking middle that time. And it's incomplete. 
Well, a situation like this, third long, there's only a few things you can do. Screens always are good to say draw plays are also a safe call. But if you're going to throw it, most of the time you throw it short and hope the receiver can catch it and make a run after it. Intercepted. Charlotte, North Carolina, which has turned into one of the true banking meccas of the world. And Bank of America Stadium is housing this game today. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Makes the play. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking what about. What would it be like to be able to go down there and make a play like that? How about it? One handed catch that was special. Exactly. The Panthers at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. First down at the 20. Stewart's met at the 16. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw at that time and they stopped the play for a short game. Okay. Second and six. Jonathan Stewart with the football. Oh my Ferguson's God. All over that offense and brings him down. The Bears guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it and they got it in the backfield and made the tap. Third and nine. And they're all over him for the sack. Come on. Well, you just get tired of sending four, three, or four players at the quarterback in passing situations. So this time, the defensive coordinator sends the blitz, and they are up for it. They get to the QB and get a sack. Drives it through for the field goal. Everyone knows okay. they were looking for seven on that trip, but they add the field goal and have a nice little cushion here early in the second quarter, Phil. I agree with what the coach did there that time. That was a good job. Get the three points and keep everything rolling your way and put doubt into your opponent's mind. Sloppy mistake here. That kick travels out of bounds. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. First down at the 46. Intercepted. Tackles made. With the lead and their defense making plays like that, this is shaping up to be a very positive second quarter. And they got it rolling, don't they, on both sides of the ball. And you know, when you're in a situation like this, be aggressive, go for the score as quick as you can on the offensive side. Lamar Houston hunts him down and makes him pay. The offensive coordinator's just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback. So either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. Handoff to Jonathan Stewart. Stewart's taken down at the 49. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Third long coming up. You're losing by a couple scores. You're on the defensive side. You must know the offense is not going to take a chance. So be aggressive and maybe get lucky and get a turnover. And now Cam Newton with the deep throw. Yes. That's another reception. Give him two. When you can throw the football that high, that accurate, and man, it is beautiful. Right on the target. Nice catch. What a play. Newton's completed his last six passes. First down at the 16. Game yes. 11. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. But it ain't now good. it becomes uh. tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? First and goal from the five. Again, the lead on him. Half time is coming up. But first, we reach the I can't believe I can fly, though. That's it. First half winding down as we return you can... from the two minute warning. I didn't know they could do that. Second and goal Hi. from the four. Knocked down as he fires it. When you get third goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Coming up to the line at the four. Please. Third and goal from the four. 
Yeah. job there by the offense third and goal and what did they do they run the football gets the defense and nice job get the touchdown the Bears I'm sure wanted to avoid giving up points on that drive just before the half but now they'll have even a bigger hole to dig themselves out of in this one the scores 17 to 0 Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22 yard line. Yep. The Bears offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball. The turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. You got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. They're going to the hurry. Back to the line now. The Bears will take the snap from the 30. Charles Johnson gets to him for the sack. It's third down coming up. The Bears come to the line. First down marker is at the 32. Is another they one. Sack on third down, and they force the quick three and out. We got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing, they're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. Gent will try his return. Anderson's in on the tackle. That return's good for about 16. The Panthers love this type of play. Of course, everybody, boy, when you get a good punt return, that's what you want. And, of course, it helps when you have an explosive punt returner back there. First down at the 47. Jonathan Stewart with the catch. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Second down and four. Stewart's taking the handoff. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Three, two, one. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley is ready to take things over back in our studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back, folks. Jim Nance and Bill Sims here at Bank of America Stadium for the call as the second half is about to get underway. And he's tackled right at about yep. the 28-yard line. The Bears' defense finds themselves trailing here, Phil, but a stop right out of the box to start the second half could swing the momentum for their side. It could, Jim. You know, at halftime when your team is losing, usually on the offensive side, they're going, okay, guys, let's do this and that. On the defensive side, it's all about yelling, give us more energy, play harder, be tougher. So that's what I expect from the defense right here. Second down and 10. Jonathan Stewart. All is oh, out. my God. This one's going back the other way. Newton's How did you drop that? To make awesome. the, tackle. the Bears have put their quarterback in some really tough positions today. Cutler's been under a lot of heat today, Phil. Well, seeing they are struggling with pass protection is an understatement. The offensive line, they're just having an awful day. Well, that's certainly... Hold on a minute. They're going to stop play and take another look at that last one. So they're looking to see if the ball came out before the knee was down. I think when you look at these plays, most of the time it's pretty easy to determine. Uh, Jim, you know, you can, it's just always a clear shot. When that knee hits the ground, you can freeze that shot and determine if it's a fumble or down by contact. Yeah. Well, it was called one way on the field. It was a booth review and the call was overturned. After recovering their own fumble, they now what? face third and eight. Ah. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. And it's knocked down. What a job.
job by the defender that time, reading the quarterback and the receiver and being in position to knock that football away. That is really <sighs> well played. That's a clinic. Put that on the highlight film and show guys how to do it. The Panthers turn Oops. the ball over on down. Let's get some sacks in there. Seeing plays like this, a fake punt when you throw the football and it doesn't work. Hey, it's easy to do these things in practice, but when you got to do it in the game, you can feel the pressure, you get tight, and sometimes you just cannot execute the play. Johnson's the one who made the big stop. The Panthers' defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. They tackle the runner for a loss. Cutler's setting up now in the pistol. Second down and a long way to go. The catch is made by Alshon Jeffrey. Well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches a defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think they're going to throw it short. And it's batted down. put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. Okay. When you get oh. great field okay. position, Jim, you got to take advantage of it. The offense didn't do it. I blame the coach. Those were terrible play calls, but a good kick by the kicker. The Bears defense has to be looking across the line of scrimmage and saying, what were you guys thinking about the last time when you went for it on fourth down on your own side of the field? I don't even know if they can concentrate. They're still laughing about the fourth down decision the time before. So come on. Sharpen up on the offensive front. Make some good decisions. This is like life. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. They're going to run it on the toss. Gets about four yards that time. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back for a short time. game. Stewart One is in time. the backfield. Second down and six. Duh, come the on. Outside. The Panthers lead right now, but you will see that not everything is going their way. Stewart's had a tough one, especially down the stretch. If they want to control the game, you have to think they're going to go back to him for some more touches and try to get it right. That's right. Keep giving him the football. Keep mixing the plays up. Don't get obvious in your play calls. If you do, the defense will have everything on your side. That's his first reception today. What a job by the receiver. Climbing the mountain and coming down with the reception. Wow, climbing the mountain, that is a new one. What a good job. You're right. These wide receivers in the NFL now, they can go up and make unbelievable catches. And remember, you can't hit them until they come. To and he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. Yes. Completion percentage, 70% on the day. And now that we're almost in the fourth and they've just increased their lead, could it be time to rest the starters, Phil? Oh, no, Jim, not even close to that yet. We've got a long way to go. You've seen it many times in the NFL. Big leads have a way of just disappearing. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not counting this one over by any means. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. <clears throat> The Bears step back onto the field on offense. Their last possession resulted in a field goal. Well, I know this. It was good defense on the other side. That's what made them kick that field goal. So the defense is feeling good about the fact that they stopped that momentum by the offense and made them kick that field goal. Thompson's going to make the tackle. 
The Bears did a good job there on first down. That pass picks up some good solid yards. Now second and short. Much easier to call those kind of plays. Two tight ends on the field here. Forte is going to take the handoff nope. now. <clears throat> Panthers defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's a good stuff. Loss of four on the play. It's caught by Eddie Royal. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Dang it. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. The Bears' offense tries to continue some momentum, still possessing the football as the final quarter gets underway. The final quarter begins with this snap. It's complete to Bennett. This tight end's very talented. He's a good run blocker and also a good receiver. Makes a nice catch on that throw. Cutler's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Out of the shotgun for me. Zebra. Running room. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Other side of the field. Cutler is lining up in the pistol. First down at the 47. Brings it in along the sideline. That's his first reception today. The Bears coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football, but no, they come out on first down, they throw it, they pick up solid yards. Good job by them. Cutler is now completed four in a row. the one who is down and will step aside for just a moment. Quarters formation here for the defense. Now first and ten. Incompletion. Hold on. Jeez, one week. Here as he was looking over the middle. <laughs> okay, what do you think is that? To see a receiver uh, have that type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. Cutler set, empty backfield. Second and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. And incomplete pass that time as he threw it short sometimes on third and long from the defensive side I like the fact that you can blitz send more guys that they can block make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short then it's all up and Jared Allen's going to bring the quarterback down the two sneaky when you blitz on third down you hope to get to the quarterback here's why because there are less defensive backs back there the chances of giving up the big play are pretty high, but the rush, they're quick enough, they get there, and they sack the QB. The Bears turned nope. the ball over on downs. The Panthers came out and ran the football with success, but that certainly has leveled off. Stewart's had less space to maneuver as this game's gone on. Yeah, let's give the defense a little credit. They finally said, okay, we got to find a way to stop this running game. They changed the defense a little bit, and it's worked. Yeah, see that. And there's offensive coordinator. He has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job of the offensive line. The Panthers take it from the 38. Makes the catch in the open field. The Panthers have created chances for themselves in the passing attack today. 
Newton's had a huge performance in this one. When you talk about creating opportunities, that's where you have to give credit to the coaching staff. They have helped the players. The play designs have been good, yes. and the players have taken advantage of it. That's his first reception today. Good job by the offense here with a good lead in the second half, picking up that first down, and that's what you want to do. Take your time, look at the play clock, take it down as low it's, as you can, and time. keep picking up those first downs. We're back. Only two minutes remain in this one. First down and ten. The give. Running right through the trenches. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. The Panthers break huddle and show a jumbo look. will take the snap from the 40. Newton hooks up with Greg Olson. Olson's taken down yes. the 18. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Here's the first snap after the big play. And now here's the talk. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Well, this is not a surprise, Jim. This is what you do. You run the football, you play the clock. This is called managing the game, and it's all up to the head coach getting this done. Second down and nine. The ball is fumbled. Well, the offense lucks out this time as they hold on to the football. Yeah, I think the word luck is appropriate here, no doubt about it. Bad fumble that time by the offensive player, but at least they were alert enough to get there and get on it and keep possession of the football. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Newton lines up in the pistol. The Panthers snap it at the 26. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter, you still got to be unpredictable. Keep the defense on edge. As I always say, make the defense react and not attack. So make them guess what plays you're going to run. Bill, you think that was the right call, adding a field goal? You already had this game locked up. No, Jim, I, I don't agree with the call. I would not have uh, kicked the field goal. I would have gone forward on fourth down, and they just rubbed it in there right there. And in this league, people never forget. Well, I did what I did. The Bears' offense comes onto the field for a last play or two before this one's over. Oh, Hail Mary? There's nothing they can do now to pull this one. This is Hail Mary. Yeah, it, it, listen, it, it's very tough to even get the courage or the energy to finish this game off in a situation like this because it's so disappointing. And I, I say to them, don't take any chances. Don't get hit again and just get off the field. All right, guys, so that was the Carolina Panthers versus the Chicago Bears, and I think I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe button, leave a like, and I will see you next time. Good.